what happened? Sorry guys, I'm not sure what happened with our connection there. Okay, there, there's Sisanda. Apologies, guys. Yabanamagui connection in Omona. Okay, I am accepting Usisanda. Apologies for that, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Apologies, guys, for that. Okay, we're just gonna get Susanda. Hey! Yeah, uh, hey, hey, we're back. We're, we're back. back. Yeah, we're back. Excellent. Yeah, so where did we get cut off? What is the last thing you heard me say? So you were still praising us and telling us why you love us so much. Yes, because you guys are... Yeah, there's a thing about why you, you authentically connect to the industry as well as people that appreciate the art as well as new entrants in, to the industry because there's something genuine about the way that you guys have come into the space and what you're offering and offering of yourselves and bringing a connection between, uh, like you're saying, the young up and coming, those who appreciate the art. And even, I saw Nambi Tambumlana here just a moment ago. Uh, and so there's even legends, you know, who respect yeah. your work. So yeah. I think one of the, the reasons why I'm moved by your statement is that it is a calling. It is indeed like a, Definitely, like you were saying, it's spiritual and it's ancestral driven. Because, you know, as in, even when I was younger, the power of film and the things that I would learn about myself or dream or that it just helped my soul to open up by watching what these actors were doing on screen. Yeah. And so thinking of Unok, see, uh, one of the, uh, the stations was doing a tribute to her and they, they played a clip from Chacha. And in that clip, uh, uh, Noxie's character, Viewer, yes. was coming out to her parents that she has HIV. And just listening to the audio, not even watching, no. I almost started crying. Just oh. listening to, to her monologue about like, mm. what she hopes her parents don't... Uh, mm. And she, she knows that, you know, Hopefully she's not a failure to her parents because of what she's done. And that was what Chacha was born to do. Because at the time, Besilo had this AIDS and like people didn't know, like, and Beguna must stigma in society. But yeah. long story short, Unoxi brought her soul to this thing. Yeah. And it was as if she was a vessel for this message oh. to, you know, because people could connect to that thing. Till yeah. this day, people are like, hey, who's the way? And so, Yes, what, I've, yes. what, what I've learned is from them, I think, uh, in short, is that to bear your soul, I think, mm. is to bless others. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. And, and Umenzi? So, interestingly, what I'm learning about Umenzi, so I worked with Mr. Ngubani on uh, Gold Diggers. I was one of the directors. And I think we shot that in 2014. Mm-hmm. I wasn't aware that even then he was going to dialysis twice a week. But here was a man coming Shoot. to the set and working. Because even by then, apparently, he was already going to dialysis. And mm -hmm. Lando in Kumbuza, um, um, Chadwick, you know, that Chadwick brought us uh, uh, Black Panther. But even through that yeah. time, he, yeah. was battling, he was battling with cancer, I believe, you know. Yeah. And um, so, women, it's so selfless to still sure. look. Yes, it's a job. Yes, you want to work, but to still give your all, because people want to connect with those characters. Yeah. Uh, and the smile that he had on set, even throughout that time, I'm actually amazed. I'm like, oh man, I didn't. Uh, we, wow. you know, we did. We didn't know this. And so, a consummate professional. Yeah, salute. So th there's clearly lots to say there about impact, right? And I guess the weird thing in impact is, you know, as we're going about, uh, you know, our day-to-day -day lives, doing what we need to do, whether you are on set, you're directing, or you're on front of the screen, you, you don't get there and you're like, Nam yenza i impact, you know? You do what yeah. you want to do, you know? Yeah. But yeah. I think Mausun Dulile and we're watching, we're like, mm, impact, <laughs> you know? 
And yeah. um, I guess I'm kind of asking you these very, you know, mental based questions because I know that's the kind of person you are, you know, you're into yeah. leadership, you know? <laughs> yeah, and I think yeah. that's something very important that as artists, we are able to kind of dissect everything or in every element in our lives um, holistically, you know, be yeah. performer, but I'm a thinking performer. Yes, good to why it is that I'm doing everything that I'm doing. So mm. my question to you is, why is it so important to be present so that impact? So why is presence so important? Shucks. Wow. Um, just as when you were playing this trackers trailer, yeah? yeah. I remember a comment on, on set, and I think even when I was seeing my coach after trackers came out, um, what I'm going to do is quickly just put on airplane. Okay, I think the Sanda said he's going to put airplane mode. Still together. They, they Are we still back. together? Yes. So I think my, my, my coach at the time, uh, she, she said, when I watched, I think she said, there's a difference between a distracted actor and a present yeah. actor. Yeah. Mm. Yo, mm. and that, that made me think. She, she said, like, listen, you came there and you had the energy mm. and you had the focus. Mm. And I mean, a part of that is I remember when, when Tim Teron, one of the local producers on Trackers, sent me, he said, there's two roles that we'd like for you to audition for. And even by when he sent me that, I said, there's only one role I want to read for, not two. Yes. There's one. Yeah. And there was, just, there was just a clarity on what I wanted to do next as an artist, you know? Uh, and so just in my quiet space and in my process, of I'm sure even in my journal, I probably made a note that the kind of characters I want to play going forward in the next sort of year or two years, these are the type. Um, and, wow. and so I think that a present actor, you're present to any magic that presents itself to you on set. You're listening to your co-actors. You're present in the environment. And yeah, no, lo and behold, that definitely has power and there's yeah. impact. So, yeah. The, yeah, don't be fooled. There is a thing of being distracted. Yeah. Even if, yeah. Even if it looks like it's easy for you. But I, I say one of the things that helps me to connect with being present is like having clarity of intention. Oh, what do you want to yes. do with this role? Yes. What do you want to mm. do with this project? Mm. Uh, what part do you think you're playing in, in the bigger scheme of things? Mm. Even if you're, whether you're number one or number 120 in the cast list, there's something that your scene can do in the movie, in the series, mm. you know? Mm. Uh, and what do you want to bring? Mm. You've touched, so, Susanna, when I got to the in that by you, because you're making me divert from all of these questions that I had typed here on the right, but it's fine, right? You've touched on two important things right now. You've just spoken about a coach, as yeah. well as planning, you know. So, I mean, as Actors uh, Spaces on our platform, beyond us showcasing, highlighting, uh, collaborating the work that's happening in the industry, we also have workshops where we invite legends in the industry to kind of impart their knowledge and share what it is that, you know, they've kind of learned over the years in the industry, right? We've always kind of noticed that there's a gap here and there with the established guys and how they are harnessing this craft and keeping it fresh and keeping it relative, relevant because guys let's be honest the industry is very very competitive right so when I go coach I mean you're Sander Hannah why did you go to a coach <laughs> what it's my bread and butter and oxygen and water and everything yeah uh, because Flip, what you did in, as Andy Lane Chacha is not what you're yeah. going to do as Ngunzi on yeah. Trackers yeah. or as Liseho on Agent. It's, it's mm. not. Mm. And, and for me, it's, it's, it's like I like to shed the old and come in with a blank page. Uh, Konamanja, with a coach, I've been working on accents. 
and uh wow yeah the shoo. no 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 me now i i think i'll be in this in this university of of learning till i die no no question because you just like even the people that i watch and i look up to they keep upping the game and sometimes i just feel like ngati as in coach just be the other eye and just make sure yeah. that this thing levels up mm, mm. i think it's, it's so good to hear you say level up right because like i'm saying it is a competitive industry you know and i mean you've got producers who are always shopping eh you want to be the product that they that seen that everybody wants to buy into you know mm, and and mm. i think that's very very important and i hope as our industry kind of grows we'll see more and more of that and that engagement of people understanding which this craft you need to always sharpen it abona lo pensa enje you must sharpen it to get the best of it right so i think and we end up by planning um you know you said uguti when the producer or track is approach you you already like mm na funa le ya because thing outline me like the kind of characters that i yeah. want to challenge myself on yes. why is it so important for the um you know aspiring and uh, established actor to be able to take a step back and be like okay what's next for me sure um i i feel like in the universe it opens up things mhm i feel like you know as a young person you can walk into an audition room and i yeah. i'd flashing back to myself mang saqala even like i remember seeing vuyo tabula back in the days we used to audition so much skibira matiksa maningi skibira mapasi we get there tala we've been sweating so much then you get into the space and you see people you've been seeing on tv wow yeah what so una go tshepo maseko lapha and i you know i want to zola seven so to me so much i was intimidated right <laughs> but so the reason it's important for you to plan i feel like there's something that you create in the universe yeah of your own making because there can only be one sasanda one finish one ayanda one there can only be one who's this uh, uh, the i saw tree and actor agency bomelelo there can only be one bomelelo mm, mm, so mm. what i mean by that is I, it, your space can't be taken up by anybody else provided you are being you yeah right because if you mm. try to copycat and be somebody else i was okay because mm. now you're not being yourself you can yeah. be great at being yourself and 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 so and whether it's a myriad of stuff the the reason why you do that i just feel like it opens up a space in the universe for you and the reason why i was telling that the, that story earlier is even mm. if you see people like who've been on TV you've watched them on TV and you think they are great yeah, yeah there hasn't been a you in that space or playing that particular role ever so mm. you also create when you plan i feel like you create something spiritually as well you get your yeah. mind ready you get your subconscious yeah. mind ready for mm. you to be that thing nice nice thank you yeah. for that sasanda Um now I'm going to go back into you and leadership right uh we are in a very conflicting time as a, as a world you know yeah, uh yeah. being in lockdown and covid we know how mental health has been affected so much you know sure. and i can only imagine for the artistic person right because you know you you need to keep active you need to be out there expressing experimenting playing showcasing giving this craft because being an artist it can't stay here it must yes. do, it has to come out you know wow. you need to yeah. share it you need to give it you need to take from others mm. how can you encourage the actor at home again aspiring and established because i think no matter how great you are guys sometimes life becomes too much you know mm. how can the actor just keep motivated in this very weird time that we're going through I think exactly what you're saying that is to stay active. So, if for yeah. example the the actors guild has a Zoom workshop, go and be yeah. there with other actors for an hour and a half. Mm. If actors mm. spaces has a online workshop, go and be there. Mm. Your your self tape. Maybe now instead of doing it alone, maybe get one of your your mates to come and help you. Why? 
because you're going to give. Yeah. And I, yeah. I got to a place where I started calling auditions the one night only performance because uh, I wanted to go past the idea that this is a means to an end and mm. rather that this is actually a performance. This is mm. actually the day. So all of those opportunities, because, you know, auditions became, uh, there was a few years where they were really hard for me. Just the process mm. of like, you plan so much, you prepare, you yeah, practice, yeah. you create this whole thing. And I would, if you were to see my, uh, my trackers audition tape, like <laughs> I cut hair, I color hair, like all kinds of things. I, I, wow. do, I go completely all out because for me, Good. That, that's the entire production is happening on that day. Beyond yeah. that, if I'm a producer, I select so-and-so, wow, 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 doesn't matter. They must just be like, yo, when they see that tape, they must just, that's all that matters. Yeah. And they, they must, then that stays with them. And then what, yeah. that thing on that tape, even the casting director must go back one day and be like, hey, let's rewind. I just want to see that one that one more one. time. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's like, yeah. You, so the way to do it is, is to stay, like you're saying, stay giving and stay mm. uh, 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 practicing. Sometimes you'll be mm. like, I've got a monologue. And your kids, even if they are five and four years old, they must mm. sit there and be your audience. And, Good. and Yeah, and, and practice. And then some people will shoot experimental things or, or shoot things for free. Uh, and, and, and sometimes, yeah. Like I, being even on set, even if I was visiting people, or I was working on, because that's how I started even learning to be a director, is just mm. being active. Even if you volunteer, go teach kids at a high school. And give them a mm. workshop, you know what I mean? Or be involved in those kind of things. Great, nice, nice. So you've just touched on how um, when you were preparing for your character, your trackers, you went all out. You cut, you did this and that, right? And we know that you've even gone through physical body transformations yeah. for characters, you know? And I think we always hear about how the people, the guys in Hollywood are always doing this. We know about Ushali Saran, who's always... So, yeah. and I think generally sometimes, you know, with uh, aspiring actors in particular, you know, they get a script, but there's that, um, the, that misalignment of hmm. actually embodying the sure. person, you know, how yeah. do you prepare for characters, especially when they, require a physical transformation from you <laughs> wow uh, the, the reason why i say and this deep breath is because it takes everything yeah it's like mm. it takes everything sometimes mm. and and uh, ayanda will laugh sometimes i get a brief three days before they need it then i say i that that's too short a period for me yeah. I need a longer run up because, uh, because I've, especially if I've read something and it's a lead yeah. and then I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I can't rush this thing. So first of all, there's the amount of time and focus. So now my life beca it starts becoming uh, Thomas and Dabizur. Yeah. Where now, yeah. I must like, hey, the only way to get this is if I catch a Patco bus from <laughs> here and I, because that's where Thomas works. Yeah. That's where I must wow. hear Thomas. And so I must be in that bus or taxi. Or actually, wow. I must go ask to volunteer at the factory, get the overall, wow. and spend two days there. Wow. I mean, I, that's how I learned this thing. In that, that's how I was like, it's the, it's the only thing to become. Because oh, then, I, then mm. I learned this thing, you know mm. what I mean? So, mm. so for me, it takes, that's the time. Now I need to organize this thing. Even if I'm walking to the mall, I'm meditating, I'm thinking, and something wow. will come to me. I start listening to mm. different radio stations, mm. depending on, because I'm like, what radio station does he listen to? Mm. My playlist changes. So you, you, can you see? Like, so now it's becoming everything. Thank, thankfully, there's YouTube now. So you can, like, you can jump into the Congo from here and spend yeah. time in a particular place in the DRC. Yeah. And now I'm hearing this accent. I'm seeing how, you know what I mean? And watch these documentaries, etc. Um, that's, that's pretty much how this thing starts. And then if I think of someone that I know who might be able to help me, I'll go see them or call them or, you know, 
I I'll do a deep dive. Um, yeah. that's I mean, how it begins. These characters are around us, you know. It's yeah. not people that are foreign. They are actually here. So, um, and in Shilonga Twena, you're going to make me move away from my questions last night because I keep <laughs> taking from you there. You touched on meditation, right? Yeah. So, again, because acting is such a, a spiritual thing, right? Mm. It does call for oneness, you know? to just breathe. But, but now for the aspiring actor... How does one kind of get this thing of meditation? M- Mother, you meditate as an actor. Like, what does it mean? Because, you know, guys, we need to acknowledge the fact that we're black, we're African. You know? So, you meditation, that one, medication, yam, unai, as fine. Yes. So, so how, how can we encourage the expiring, uh, aspiring actor to come into this thing called meditation or mm-hmm. to kind of you know, had that moment of one, oneness. How does one build that? You know what, Felicia? So, one of the most uh, impactful performances I've ever seen was mm. uh, Forrest Whitaker playing Idi Amin. Oh. And, and then I hear a Spike Lee interview about Denzel Washington, listen to this word, channeling Malcolm X. Right, mm. Mm. and so in the, and then at one point I heard Denzel how he got a call from Will Smith when he was prepping for playing uh, uh, Ali Muhammad Ali. Yeah, yeah. And you hear. So okay, I'll start quickly with with uh, Denzel Washington, Malcolm X. Mm-hmm. Denzel apparently takes out a year. This is the Spike Lee interview. He talks about how Denzel prepares for this. He tells his agent. He starts learning Arabic. He starts mm. going to the mosque. And mm. then he starts reading the Quran. Okay? Oh. Yeah. So he says it wasn't just an accent that Denzel put on. Yeah. Denzel had this thing about the embodiment of this guy. And so Forrest plays an African leader, Idi Amin, who later as a dictator, apparently, you know, there were all yeah. kinds of spiritual things happening including where he, he was like apparently eating flesh. Now, even mm. as an African, Ushilo mm. Nawati, like, it, it's, it, it's ancestral. I, I feel like, there's one of the musicians uh, I, who inspires me a lot, Asa Namvana, Umsag. She has a mm-hmm. phrase, mm-hmm. her phrase is song catching. Okay? Mm. She talks about catching songs. And I was with Zolani just the other day, Umawala, she used to be uh, yes. freshly crowned and she's, yes. an, you yes. know, she's an actress. And, and she spoke about this experience now where, where she used the phrase song catching. And mm. so, Mau, I feel, so now that's what creativity is. I feel like you connect spiritually. So it doesn't matter, your African spiritism, whatever spirituality I feel like step one, understand and practice and have a kind of spirituality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whatever that is, ask your grandmother, mm, spend time with your mm. grandmother. Put the phone away, sit by the fire, she'll tell you stories and she'll tell you oh. things. Then listen to nature when you are there. Because go deep, even if you are in the wherever it is. There's yeah, something yeah. about being in those spaces. Oh, man. Yeah. So when you stop and listen and Ooh. listen with your soul and listen, like you, things, you will, things will come to you. And the basics of meditation is listening, I think. And it's mm. breathing and it's letting go. It's just quieting down the mind. Sometimes the mind, mm. you know. Um, yeah. So I think that's the beginning. And, 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 yeah, and having that... A, a, a kind of spirituality of sorts, find it, even if it's a mix of things. Um, I mean, it's even understanding is Tagaze Losako, the younger guys, it, some of those things are disappearing, but what is yeah. it? What was the yeah. clans? What are the clan names? Yeah. Do and so on. All of that yeah. stuff, I feel like, connects and can, and can help to lead you in creating or even catching yeah. pieces of art, pieces of expression. Yeah. Oh, Slander, thank you. Now tell me if because performance is layered, you know, my layers, right? And um, 
you know, when, when we often are, are talking about it at, at Active Spaces and we're talking about how delicious performance is, you know, Nandi, man, especially when you get it, man. Yeah, leg at this thing, you know. And I guess I guess I make that example of Ugega because I love food. Anybody yeah. who knows me knows that she enjoys food, you know. Food. Yeah. And and I wanna ask you, and I think again I'm asking you because that's something I relate to. Food. Right, right. So if I if I were to ask you, Ugutiman, what meal would you say acting is like? I know for me, ne? Guna lama cupcakes or Willis, guys. Okay. Oh, <laughs> there are these chocolate cupcakes at Willis. When you open them, there's like <laughs> this nice chocolate gooey thing. And yeah. it just kind of feeds the soul, right? And acting, yes. I think, does that overall. Performance does that overall. It feeds the soul because of the yes. spirituality that it comes with. So for you, acting, if it was like something nice that you oh, could... Lisa. Hey, man, what would it be? It's so interesting. Um, my partner and I had breakfast at this place yeah. in, in Linden. Hey, and I remember saying to the waiter, please, man, call the <laughs> chef, man. Hey, man. Hey. Even just the yeah. way she, was, she made this, this breakfast is supposed to be normal, but it just, it hit, it hit me. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm not such a foodie, but I, yeah. I feel like so my brother makes food, and I think, he, there's a thing about what he puts into food that when people yeah. consume it, they, can, they oh. also taste it. And, and so I think it's delectable in that both the consumer of it and the person making it, it's, it's both twice as delicious. Now quickly, before we move on to the next one, I, there were a few questions that people would inbox me on Facebook. People would send yeah. to me on Twitter or they'll DM me. I would love for us to touch on some of those questions because yeah. some of them... Yeah are the same questions I get over and over again. And yes. uh, I'd like to share them with you and hopefully we can just touch on them before we end. Good, good. We have to do that. You're very right because uh, some of us get very excited ne? and then we run out of time. So I think for me, before we get into the questions, um, we've obviously kind of delved deep into mental state, spiritual state, um, some of the work you've been doing is performance. But I think let me jump into one night one or least yes i yes. think for me it's one of those productions where you're just like because this is you you know um it's a one night tell all story basically yes what yes. was going through your head prepping for this production about a one night tell it all uh it was the actors mm -hmm. i so whether i'm traveling i'll i'd always be praying universe bring me the right people Bring the people yeah. that are supposed to be part of this thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. bring them to this project and help me to enable them to give them the best platform that they can bring out the magic. Yeah. And uh, so this one night for me, I wanted it to include the last 15 years inside the one night. I wanted mm. the audience to feel like, hey, these friends, these guys have been friends really for the last 12, 13 years. And... Mm -hmm. You, although it's happening in one night, you can feel the, the history within it, you know? Mm. And, and, and that was the prep. And the prep was also about referencing real life people uh, for each and every single character in the film. And uh, yeah, that's, that, that was one night. And, and the transition, I mean, look, you, you have been directing for a while. It's, it's not like it's new, but I think for a lot of people with, one night Guam least it's like it was out there with guys that are houses and that doesn't just perform. This guy creates as well, you know. How did you transition? Like I'm saying, I transition from Dalo. And we know you've got experience, you've traveled abroad, you've been in LA, you know the Hollywood uh, landscape, right? How how did you transition or what called for the transition to be beyond just a performer and actor? So even when I, when I started, I had such a love for films. I was always fascinated by how they're made. And mm -hmm. so I, I'm one geek like, who watches all the behind the scenes. And I used to do it from such a young age. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember Makata Itata season one, I, I asked the production company if I can be an intern or a runner in wow. the next production. And that's when I started. I, and I remember my work, Ali Tom Pictures, Abo uh, Homoto, um, mm -hmm. Akino Motoso, and uh, Robbie Thorpe. 
I, I worked on, on Holly's directing debut. I was working as a runner. Wow. And, and uh, I, you know, I would drive and pick up things and drop them off. I was a driver. Wow. I was production assistant. Wow. And, and that's how it started. If I rewind, Gangane, just back. So I, I was at Vets Tech with Utapelo Mokwena in mm-hmm. the year 2000. And so, and then in 2001, Mukwena leaves Vets Tech and goes to AFTA, the film school, right? And so mm-hmm. he's, then he, studies, he starts studying uh, film and performance, uh, etc. And I was still doing IT at Vets Tech, but because I wanted to go to AFTA, but my parents, A, couldn't afford it, B, they were like, we need to want to invest in something that we are sure you're going to get a job in. I said, yes, okay, cool. Yes. Let me do this. And so weekends, afternoons, I used to work on after movies for free. Me. Wow. That's how I began wow. to learn. Some people thought I was an after student and I was. I used to be a visitor and I'd be like, yeah, wow. let me be an extra in your movie. Let me wow. just carry sandbags and tripods. Wow. I'll just be, I'll even guard cars parking at locations. Wow. I don't mind. I just want to be on set wow. with you guys. Wow. And that, that, yeah, that began my, uh, my, my education back then. And I was, I kept learning and then I would go to as many workshops as I can. Today, mm-hmm. YouTube offers so many things. Like I would even take note of words on set that I didn't know what they meant. Then I go home, Google. Oh, what does this mean? Oh, what does that mean? Oh, I... wow. and then that's, that's how I was learning. And the biggest transition was when um, the showrunner at Scandal at the time took me in and then she, for six months, she just taught me everything. I was there wow. every day. And she, she, yeah, she taught me running the sh- uh, show in the writer's room and in multicam directing. So that was the biggest transition for me. Because then from there, I could study, I could direct studio shoots with multicam, yeah. So, okay, because now we're going to go into the questions. Now, I need to ask cool. this one because I know a lot of aspiring people want to know. You just spoke about the importance. I mean, you told us that you were a runner right for me that tells me humble beginnings or the importance you know because often you do have people that have been at after you do have people that went to go study and you know hey that's background right i've met so many people in front of screen and behind um you know in producing where people just want to be big first time around why is it so important for humble beginnings. Yeah, well, uh, humble beginnings teach you so much more uh, yeah. that even now, like I feel like as a director, more about done some of these jobs on set, I approach everyone in every department with respect. You understand? So now if a sound guy is coming to my queue as an actor on set, yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's also their job, man. Like, have yeah. respect, you know? Mm. Like, uh, the idea of divas, this, that, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like, Bubuuntu, man, that thing of, so, mm. so the importance of humble, you learn, and then you mm. respect the thing, and then you understand, like, because also it's teamwork. It's not just mm. you, the star there. No, yeah. if there's like a whole, there's a lot of other people who work super hard, yeah. To get, understand, no one to up on me boom so. Then we see to a new actor. He is like <laughs> that guy is trying to catch every breath that you are breathing, because yeah, that adds yeah. to the experience in the cinema. Yes, you know. Yes. And, yes. And so, I yeah, I have a love for this and the people that contribute to it. So, uh, humble beginnings. I feel like is the is the only way that you can learn. I feel like. Okay, cool. All right. Ben is cut. It's in game. I my question. So, 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 Sandra, I know you've got questions on your side. They are... So, I'm going to read, I think, let me pick two questions this side, and then we'll go to your questions, ne? Okay. So, here, Mpumelele says, is there any auditions you have... For, well, I guess she's saying, are there any auditions you have for beginners? I'm not sure if she means maybe beginners joining the industry, you know, maybe, you know, when you're still trying to figure yourself out, uh, but maybe we need to kind of position it as to where can beginners go to kind of explore their craft. I, I'm going to start here. Um, 
I worked as an extra. Now, some, it works for some people, it doesn't work for others. Especially, mm. I did it because I also wanted to be on set. And I remember learning so much more than mm. sitting at home for like months on end, especially when you want to get the experience. Because mm. I would go there and I used to watch these actors do this. So that, that's the first thing. Like if, so because now you're not doing it for the money. Two, mm. auditions generally, uh, how it works in the traditional sense is that all the agents get briefed by casting directors and, and then the agents will call actors to go to auditions. And these days, you'll get a brief to do a soft tape and send it. So mm. get a reputable agent. Uh, mm. So the uh, Personal Managers Association, the PMA, has a list of some of the top, say, 20 agents in the country, uh, about 20, 30, somewhere there. Look up yeah. those guys and, and see if you can audition for them, send them a tape, invite them to your set or to your play or whatever. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the main thing. And sometimes things are published online now. And I mean, you'll know more about that, like where they do open call auditions. Um, in fact, I know one of the actors on Isono said he did an open call and he sent a tape and he didn't think it would work out, but it did, you know, and he ended up doing... Uh, I think something on Bettina or something like that. But sometimes the open calls also work. Okay, there's Sanbei here who wants to know, uh, I'm going to kind of summarize your question, Sanbei. How does one give an impactful performance? Because she talks about, I'm not sure if it's a he or she, forgive me, but they're talking about how they struggle getting a confident read of performance and they really want to give a good audition. So I think let's say the question is, how do you give a good audition? I think, uh, I suppose the ego needs to get out of the way. And whether it's the ego that puffs you up or the ego that makes you doubt yourself. So, yeah. because then you need freedom to actually express mm -hmm. and take risks. I found the people that are able to do that, put yourself in that space, uh, that's it. Trick your mind that you can't go wrong. So then you can go with your instincts. Then you're going to be true and you're going to be genuine. Mm. Wow. Okay, Sisanda, let's get into your questions. Then if we still have time, we'll come back to the guys here. Guys, remember, if you've got questions, please rather use the little question uh, bubble there at the bottom. It should be your bottom right. Pop the questions in there, but we're going to get Sisanda to respond to his Facebook questions. And if we have time, we'll come back to ours. So one of the questions um, I got recently, somebody was asking, if I'm a student and I want to start in my acting career, what can I do? Because I'm, I'm still studying. Um, then, uh, okay, let me answer that one. And I'll, I'm also interested to hear what you would say. But I think as a student, it's important, like we've already touched on expressing. I think, mm. pick up your phone, ask one of your director friends to shoot a film, whether it's a two-hander, three-hander, write something very simple and do it because that's how you begin. I feel like by mm -hmm. doing it, you are beginning. Um, and I mentioned like sometimes I, I was on set as an extra or whatever, uh, but I feel like if you're putting on things on stage and, and, and putting on a performance, even if you're like, okay, I've got a monologue, my friend will shoot it for me. That's how yeah. you begin to express. And then yeah. just... Audition, audition, audition. The last one, when I was very, very, uh, when I was young, uh, I remember some of my favorite films, I would download the script and then I would play it at home. And mm -hmm. I could find a scene or two. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I'd even write out the scene myself by watching it. Anyway, so that's wow. by, by giving it, like you said earlier, that's how you can begin to express um, I'll give you, I'll tell you two more questions and then you'll tell me if I should answer them now or later. But one okay. of the other people who have ideas for drama series and stuff often inbox me. Are you interested? How can I pitch? How do I pitch to Mzanzi? Yes, How do yes. I pitch to this person? How do I pitch yes. to that person? So writers who are um, trying to get in or get their stuff pitched, I think if you shadow other people, it really helps because you're going to mm. learn. There's a certain standard mm. that is used for putting together a concept, whether it's a two-page mm. um, treatment, a five-page treatment. If you work for other people, sometimes you learn that the easiest. Also online, you're going to get a lot of examples of what that looks like. Yes, um, yes. And then like the NFEF offers courses. I think they do the Sadiba 
uh, script development course, I would suggest strongly, hardly, that you, you try to get into those because um, you're going to learn. The big thing is about understanding the format that's used. You can also yeah. teach yourself how to write on, on Final Draft and you can even buy some of, get one of the uh, script writing Bibles. Uh, Robert McKee's book is called Story and he's one of, you know, uh, the, the bigger names in script writing. Anything that says yeah. basic script writing. So you teach yourself how to put the thing together and that's how, so that by the time you submit to Mzansi or Mnet to anyone, it's in the format that they expect because there's yeah. a certain lingo that they use. So if mm. they say to you, oh, what's the inciting incident? Or give me more conflict in the scene. Now you understand like, what, what they mean by that. Um, mm. Yeah. And, and I think, anyway, let, that, that's the one. I'll tell you one more question. I won't answer it. Uh, so that was the big one. And actors living in remote areas, like they don't live in Cape Town, Durban, Joburg, and they yes, asked, how yes. do I get in, you know? Like, mm. how can I get into acting? What do you tell them, Felicia? Start with what you have, always, right? So, let me say in Giani. I'm a Limpopo yeah. girl, so I'm going to use places in Limpopo. In Giani, in Palabora, in Lamahale, in Zanin. Zanin. Start with what you have, you know? Your five friends, you were just talking about get your friend to do this, to do, do that. Your five friends, get Dinuko to write, get uh, Nomtandazo to act, get uh, Sipogazi to direct, you know, yeah. start with what you have and social media. Guys, we've got social media. We can now share, share it on WhatsApp, share it on Instagram, make oh. it go viral. People must mm. know about you. And I think the biggest thing that I've learned over the years is that do not be afraid to dominate a space. Do not be afraid to be seen. Often we grow up with this thing of, oh my God, this is not for me. It's for people that are in Jobek. Acting, acting is for people that are from these places. Me in the rurals, it's not for me. That is a lie. You know, do it. you are brought on this earth. Yes, do it. Mm. You are brought here because there's a greatness that is instilled in you. God knew what talent. You are going to share and change the world. So use what you have, um, use the social media. Literally, most people have smartphones. The quality doesn't matter. Just use it, share it, and buza, uyenze, umasabi. I would say those are the things that you need to use. Do not be afraid. And guys, this thing of just conscientizing English doesn't mean when you know English, it means we are the number one in life. Uh -uh. Express yourself. Use your beautiful mother tongue, you know, do the story in Chivenda, Chisonda, yes. Isikosa. Let it yes. be known how great you are. So to answer you, um, no, I love explore, it. what use you what need. you have. <laughs> Dori Buwa. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Susanda, this was so, so, so amazing. Um, and I know the questions keep coming. So guys, please, um, this is obviously going to automatically get saved on our Insta. Keep asking those questions. We'll forward them to Usisanda. He'll respond. They'll come back to you. Do not be afraid to engage. Bakona, Abantu, Abafana, and who are always willing and ready to share their greatness. Do not be intimidated, right? We can all do this and we can all be great. Susanda, nyabonga, nyabonga, nyabonga. I want to just ask, what were the other questions you had written down? Quickly, just ah! run through them. Okay, 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 cool. Um is important because say it again Cons I want you to complete the end consistency is important because that's what you become known for I think nice yeah. nice okay complete the sentence acting is beautiful because nice. it, it moves the soul ah is that the man? I am is literally counting me down here um, okay. how should how should you show up as an actor Free. Okay. Saivala, because I end up giving me this eye. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much, Sandra. Guys, I would encourage you that, like I said, the thing is going to save on the platform. Go back, listen, learn, booza, explore. This was beautiful. We're going to have another session with other amazing people in the industry. Sandra, see ya bonga for your time. You know, we shall debrief after this. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm thank sorry you we couldn't read Lots all of, of your love. questions. 
Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>